Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to graph a hyperbola. Last time kasi meron tayong video na kung saan ang ginawa natin, we graph hyperbolas where in the center is at the origin or yung tinatawag natin 0,0. Ngayon naman, ang focus natin is to graph a hyperbola in which the center is not at the origin or in other words, the center is located at h, k. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the given equation of the hyperbola in which we have x plus 7 squared over 16 minus y plus 3 raised to over 9 is equal to 1. So... This equation is already in, in standard form. That's why we can easily identify the center of the hyperbola. By the way, guys, yung center natin, which is h, comma, k, kunin agad natin, guys. The center is simply negative 7, comma, negative 3. Sir, bakit po ganyan? This is your h, yung number dito, yung, yung asawa ng x, that, that is your h. So, if that is positive, gawin mo lang negative. Or in other words, gawin mo, kunin mo yung kanyang additive inverse, o yung reverse sign. And ito naman, this is your k, since this is positive, kunin mo yung negative, or yung kanyang additive inverse. That's why the center of the hyperbola is located at negative 7, comma 3. Ang next step natin gagawin dito, guys, uh, for me, is to know the orientation of the hyperbola kapag graph natin. Now, what is the orientation? The orientation of this hyperbola is horizontal. Ibig sabihin nun, yung opening ng inyong hyperbola ay going towards the left and right part of the Cartesian plane. Parang natin yung magiging tura niya. E sir, paano nyo malalaman na yung ating hyperbola ay horizontal o kanyang opening ay sidewards? Guys, mayroon tayong clue. Yung clue natin ay yung x variable. If the x variable is the positive variable, automatic, horizontal. Pero kapag yung inyong y variable is positive, pa-vertical ang ating opening or upward sa downwards. Ito, sa case natin, your x is positive while your y is negative. That's why dapat ganti maging output na makuha natin. Now, let's continue. What is the next step, sir? After getting it, after the getting, uh, getting the center and knowing the orientation, we need to find the value of A, B, and C. Yung A, B, and C natin, mayroon tayong formula na ginagamit. So, uh, I think I'm gonna use this part. Yung A squared natin is always under the positive term. Ito siya, or in the denominator, which is 16. That is your A squared. And to solve for the value of A, simply get the square root of it. Yan. Your A is equal to 4. This is your A. Next, get the value of your B. Yung B squared natin is ito. Yung nasa ilalim ng negative term. So that is 9. And getting the square root of B squared and 9, that will give you B is equal to 3. Ito ngayon yung value ng ating B. And lastly, we need to find the value of your C. In which, you can use the formula C squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, where in your a is 16, while your b is equal to 9. And simplifying this, your c squared is equal to 25. To get the value of c, simply get the square root of c, get the square root of c, your c is equal to 5. Ito yung c natin. Now, so what is the importance? Why do we need to get the value of a? B and C. Guys, it is important for you to locate uh, the different parts of it para mag-graph natin. Una, uh, magagamit ito siya para makapag- ito yung values ng A and B. Magagamit ito siya para makita yung uh, magawa yung, ano, yung auxiliary rectangle natin to guide us sa pag-graph. Tapos makukuha mo din yung value o yung uh, coordinates ng yung vertex. Now, let's continue. Um, next step natin dito guys ay ihanapin natin yung value ng ating focus. Pero ang um, gagawin natin, I will give you the format tapos try natin hanapin siya ng, ano, ng uh, manually. 
So, bagay natin yung step natin, I will start by plotting the center. Yung center natin is negative 3, uh, negative 7, comma negative 3. So, that is located at the quadrant number 3, dito siya. So, negative 7, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, tapos 3. Ibig sabihin, dito yung location ng ating center. Kailangan tama yung pagkakaplot, guys. This is your center. Negative 7, comma, negative 3. Ito yung center mo, guys. Ah. Now, ang next step natin is to draw, to draw the auxiliary rectangle o yung rectangle natin para makapag-create tayo ng asymptote. Now, ang value ng ating A ay 4. So, we will move 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ito siya. At dito naman, from the center, 4 din. 1, 2, 3, 4. Dito yung location. Okay? So, pwede mong pinerase muna ito. Pamayang tayo mag-alang ganyan label. Next natin, we will use the value of C para mag-move tayo upwards saka downward from the center. So, this is 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Dito siya. Yung second point natin. And 3 units then mula dito. Okay, that is negative 6. Okay. Ngayon, pwede tayo mag-draw ng ating rectangle. For the rectangle, draw natin, gawa tayo ng line dito. Again, ang purpose ito guys, ay para mag-guide tayo sa pag-create ng ating asset to. Dito rin. Ito meron na tayo. So, dito na tayo sa ngayon. Yung corners ng ating triangle, ng rectangle, sila yung pagdudutungin natin kasi pag in-extend natin yung diagonal ng rectangle na to, that will serve as your asymptote. Tapos burahin nyo yung sobra. Yan. And connect the corners. Ito yung corners niya. Pwede tayo mag- Create na dito ng, ano, ng ating asymptote. Okay. Yan. Tapos dito naman, yung ating yung second asymptote na negative yung slope. Medyo kukulangan tayo sa space. Nagamit natin itong part na to. Pero extend, kapag meron kayong space, you need you can extend that, guys. Okay? So, ngayon, guys, punta na natin yung pagkuha ng ating um, vertex. Okay? As for the vertices, yung ating format for the vertices, guys, ha? Yung format natin is the same as H positive negative A comma Okay, ito yung format ng ating vertices. Kapag yung orientation ng parabola, ay ng hyperbola, ay um, horizontal. And as for the foci naman, for the foci, ito ay H positive negative C comma K. So, pwede natin makuha yan. Gamit yung value ng ating A and C. As for the vertices, siya ay um, ang h natin is negative 7, di ba? Negative 7 plus your a is 4, that is negative 3, comma, your k which is negative 3. At yung second coordinate, yung second vertex natin ay h which is negative 7, tama? Tapos negative A, which is negative 4, that is negative 11, comma negative 3. Para naman sa ating, uh, para naman sa ating focus, as for the focus guys, o yung sa foci natin, yung C naman yung gagamitin natin. Yung H natin is negative 7 plus 5, that is negative 2, comma, 
negative 3, which is short k. And then, next to that is h, which is negative 7. Eh, sorry, h. So, what's a negative 7? Minus or plus, which is negative c, which is 5, that is negative 12, comma, negative 3. Ayun na yung magiging focus sa coverlaces natin, or foci natin sa coverlaces natin. Actually, nalocate na natin yung ating uh, vertices gamit ka din yung value ng A na nag-move tayo sidewards mula sa center. Ito na siya mismo guys, oh. Um, yung first natin ay negative 11, comma, negative 3, di ba? Ito na siya guys, this is negative 11. Ito yung vertex number 1 mo. Ang kanyang coordinates ay negative 11, comma, 3. While the other vertex, o yung V sub 2 natin, yung V sub 2 is negative 3, comma, negative 3. Ito na mismo yan. Ang next step na natin ay ating focus. May short cut tayo yung ginagawa dito. Kung kapansin nyo, yung ating focus ay yung ating A is 4, yung ating C is 5. So, ang lamang lang ng ating C is 1 unit. So, para mahanap mo yung focus mo, mag-add ka lang ng 1 unit dito papunta sa left at papunta sa right. So, if this is your this vertex number 1, ito yung magiging focus mo, mag-add ka lang ng 1 unit. And upon checking guys, Ang coordinates nito ay negative 12, comma negative 3, in which meron tayo dito. At dito naman, mag-move lang tayo ng 1 unit for the vertex number 2 para makuha natin yung focus number 2. Okay? Mag-move tayo ng 1 unit dito, that is negative 2, comma negative 3. So this is your um, focus number 2, in which the coordinates are the coordinates are negative 2 comma negative 3. Ganyan lang siya. And, doon na lang tayo ng ating hyperbola. Tandaan na, uh, nasa loob tong focus, ito yung ating vertex, mag-draw ka lang pa ganito. As long as hindi siya tumatama sa iyong asymptote. Yung iba there using graph. Bitin tayo ng konti dito. Try natin to. Okay, ito rin. Try natin to dito. And any mismong graph ng ating hyperbola. Now, sir, uh, what if we are asked to find the equation? The equation of the asymptote. Madali lang yan, guys. Pero medyo mahaba ng konti pa yung process. Uh, kapag kasi yung center natin is at 0, 0, uh, meron tayong madaling format lang. Pero dito, to get the, hype, the equation of the asymptote in which the center is not at the origin, ang gagawin mo dito is to get that equation and gawin mo 0 yung 1. So, try natin ha. So, natin dito sa mga maganda. Um, I will cut this out. Cut ko lang ito ng konti. And, gawin natin ito dito. Yeah. Basta, continuous lang yan. So, ang ating equation ngayon dito guys, ay ito. Dito na lang siguro ako. Yung x plus 7 squared over 16 minus y plus 3 squared over 9 minus i is equal to 0. Kailangan natin maging ano siya, slope intercept form. Dapat mag-solve tayo for y. Now, to solve for y, transpose mo sa kabila itong term na to, it will become negative y, minus, uh, y plus 3 squared over 9 at ito ngayon, pag-transpose natin, that will become negative x plus 7 raised to 2 over 16. Okay, over 16. Tapos, ang gabi mo ngayon dito guys, ay mag-multiply tayo ng 9, or negative 9 na lang para maging positive to, sa buong equation, negative 9 para matanggal natin yung denominator at yung negative sign. So, mawawala ito, mawawala ito. Makita na lang dito ay y plus 3 squared is equal to negative times negative is positive. And kapag sinimplify natin yung 9 over 16, okay na siya. So, maging 9 times x plus 7 squared over 16 na meron tayo. Ang next natin gagawin is to extract the square root. Kunin yung square root ito, square root nito, Cancel, cancel. Ito, ito naman, matitira dito. Continue natin dito guys ha. Pula ng space natin. It will become
will become um, y plus 3 is equal to pag ginawa natin square ito, that is 3 times x plus 7 over 4. Yan ang isang yan. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos because we need to solve for the value of y. We will transpose 3 to the other side and ayun na, pag nawala na yung 3, magiging y na lang siya. Your equation is y is equal to 3 times x plus 7 over 4 minus 3. Ito na yung mismo equation natin. Okay? Ah, hindi. Sorry. Meron pa tayo itong positive negative. Pakalimutan ko rito. Meron tayo itong positive and negative. Kasi dalawa yung equation natin, guys. Dalawa yung ating asymptote. We have the this asymptote na kung saan positive yung slope and we have this asymptote na kung saan negative yung kanyang slope. I know na medyo mahaba yung discussion pero I hope na nakuha niyo yung technique on how to graph the hyperbola if the orientation of your hyperbola ay pa horizontal. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!